What up, man? It's your big brother, K. Reno. Um, got to speak on a, a point of disappointment. Um, and it's been going on for a while, but any new instances kind of bring it back to memory. And that is how we as black people, we will make a few strides or make a step forward and then something will happen or we'll do something um, to knock ourselves a step back or in some cases two step backs two steps back and what that does it just puts us in a position where it's very hard to um, advance the way that we need to advance and the way that we know we have the potential to advance and but, but what it also does it um it slaps in the face the accomplishments of those who have come before us and those who are currently among us who have dedicated their entire lives um, to our advancement, to getting us from under the foot of oppression, from getting us under the foot of racism and under the foot of a lot of the, um, the pitfalls that, we, that we've suffered and getting us from under the foot of our own internal and personal and, and uh, problems that, that we inflict upon ourselves. So I was um, looking at, we're well, hearing about, not looking at, but I was, I had heard about, um, I was told about uh, the five black officers who, who murdered the brother. And um, I was so disappointed to hear that, that that had happened like that, because what it did was it just, it, it, it took out all of the times that we've seen this over the years where, where, where unarmed black men and women have been unjustly murdered and handled by police officers, um, racist police officers, and then we turn around and do that to ourselves. We turn around and inflict that same type of treatment upon ourselves as, as five black officers. And it always um, upsets me more when you see things like that happen. I don't care black, white, or otherwise, but when you see it happen and there's a group of officers carrying out these kind of acts and not one has it in them to just stop it or make the other one stop it or even attempt to make the other one stop it. And we've seen occasions where it's happened, but not enough. And usually by the time it's all said and done, the person who's being um, brutalized is no longer with us. And so to look at that and know that that, that act was carried out so maliciously, when again, you got a man who was of no threat, no threat. There was nothing that he was able to do. He was of no threat. And now... He's been murdered. And it's weird because, you know, when you see black police officers do this type of stuff, you're not going to get the same type of protection that the white police officers would get or have gotten historically when they've committed these kind of acts. You're not going to get that. Not that you deserve it, but you're not going to get it. So you're going to be, you're basically going to be treated like if you were just the average Joe on the street and five of y'all jumped on somebody and, and beat him to death and, and murdered him, you're going to get that same treatment. Um, blue lives ain't going to matter when it comes to five black officers doing what, what, what you did. And um, it's sad for that family because that's the most important thing, the person who lost their life. You know, my video right now is mainly just to speak on how as a collective um, it's very hard to, to make progress when things keep happening among us to knock us back and that's not to say for anybody to get discouraged in terms of um, well I'm just why well, I don't I don't try no more that's why no nah, that's not what it's to say it's just to be aware of, of those the best you can who are wearing those kind of hats that don't seem to care about uh, us as a people and our advancement. They just are doing what they do for whatever reason. And some, some, some of these um, these Negroes, not just in law enforcement, but in, in um, the judicial system, um, entertainment, um, media, 
and, and politics, they they get so indoctrinated into their mindset that they want to do everything they can to move up the ladder. And even if that means destroying their own people, whatever, whatever I got to do, I got to bump one off for you, you know, then they are absolutely willing to do that. You know, selling out don't just come in the form of doing something for money. So um, condolences to the family, but also we have to be more aware and start to recognize um, that we can be and have been at times our, our worst enemy. You know, there's a bigger enemy at the root of all of this, but we can't be the enemy's assistant. They got the teacher in the class and you got the teacher's assistant. You got the doctor, the surgeon, you got an assistant, the dental assistant. Nah, we are, we are um, the oppressor's assistant. And it's going to be hard to get to where we're trying to get to. And all of the work that those who are putting their time in to get us there <sighs> keeps getting semi-canceled out here and there because of the actions of, of, some, of a self-hating few. So let's keep that in mind as we move forward, man. It's your big brother, K. Reno. Y'all go tune in to the Underground Dialogue podcast. Um, that's our other channel with, the pod, with our podcast on there. And uh, go check us out. All right, peace.